Hi, I'm Suki Baxter, and today I want to talk to you about digestive enzymes and how important they are for whole body health. So you've heard the phrase, you are what you eat, but if you think that's true, well, you've got another thing coming. Actually, you're not so much what you eat as you are what you digest, and if you can't digest your food, then you can't assimilate it into your body and use the nutrients and nutrition in the food. So today I want to show you a little scientific experiment to demonstrate just exactly how important digestive enzymes are uh, in breaking down foods and making them available for your body. I have here two bowls of oatmeal and I'm just going to take a digestive enzyme capsule. These are by Source Naturals. Uh, I'm going to take one capsule and you can see that it's just a little gel cap. Open it up and pour it onto one of the bowls of oatmeal. Okay. Um, you can see, just a bowl of oatmeal, and I'm gonna go ahead and stir it in. Okay, and as you can see, this oatmeal's becoming quite a bit thinner. You can see it's getting pretty soupy in there. So I've only put the enzyme capsule on one bowl of oatmeal and I want to show you what happened to the other bowl of oatmeal. So here's the other bowl of oatmeal, no enzyme capsule, and you can see how chunky this is. So you can imagine if that were in your digestive tract, what a hard time your body would have to process that. It can't break it down and actually assimilate the oatmeal, right? Because look how, look how gummy that is. That's gonna stop you up in there. It's not gonna be healthy for your digestive tract. And if you compare it to this one, and I've only stirred it for like three minutes, so this is just with three minutes of enzymes here, you can see how much more soupy that is and how much more runny. So it's starting to have more availability for your body to break it down and use the nutrients. And then I have here a bowl of oatmeal that I put an enzyme in about, oh, let's see, about an hour ago, and you can see it's just totally runny. See how soupy that is? So that's with an enzyme capsule and sitting for just one hour. So you can see the difference between the three kinds of oatmeal and how important it is that your body's able to break down these foods so that they can assimilate them. So now enzymes are produced naturally in the body. Um, they're produced in the pancreas and there's three kinds of enzymes. There is lipase, which breaks down fat, amylase, which breaks down carbohydrates, and uh, trypsin, which breaks down protein. And those three enzymes are critical for breaking down the foods, as you can see by the experiment that we did here today. Um, the problem is that after about age 27, enzyme production drops off dramatically. Between 27 and 35 is really where aging begins. That's where um, symptoms like arthritis begin to set in, we start to have more aches and pains, and our metabolisms slow down. Um, I don't think it's the metabolism slowing down so much as it is that the body is not as efficient at breaking down the foods and we start to get stopped up. And when we get all those foods in our body and we can't break them down and digest them because they're chunky, like this oatmeal here, it's a big chunk sitting in there stopping you up, those foods actually begin to fester and they cause all kinds of other digestive problems like yeast overgrowth, uh, candida, and other problems. So um, you can take an enzyme capsule, you can supplement your enzymes with enzyme capsules, and like I said, I just have um, digestive enzymes from Source, Source Naturals. There's lots of other brands on the market. Uh, this is just one that I particularly trust and like. You wanna just make sure that your enzyme capsules are from a vegetarian source, so check that they're plant-based enzymes. The other way to increase your enzyme consumption uh, in your diet is by eating lots of raw vegetables and raw foods. Raw foods naturally have enzymes in them to break them down, like raw, you know, raw vegetables, raw nuts and seeds, and fruits. Um, the problem is that when you heat these to above 115 degrees Fahrenheit, they lose all of their enzymes. So if you're cooking your food, then it doesn't have anything in it to inherently break it down and you have to rely on your body's own production. And if your body's production of enzymes is compromised, you're gonna have trouble breaking down the foods. So 
this has been uh, a really good experiment to show you what's going on inside the digestive tract and how things really work. And uh, definitely get yourself some plant-based enzymes and uh, start taking them right away. You may notice some detox effect as you start to process old foods that are stuck in your uh, intestinal tract and in your gut. So uh, if you start to feel a little bit worse before you feel better, that is completely normal. All right, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Suki Baxter and I'll see you next time.